Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. Now that we're getting ready for Yom Kippur, uh, we do a lot of things to uh, arouse Milmaila Kapara, and uh, hopefully every, everyone is signed and sealed for Shana Toiva Mesuka. One of the halachas, which are, is a minig, which is brought in the Altar Rebbe Shulchan Aruch and the Ramon Shulchan Aruch, uh, is about doing kaparis. We all know about kaparis before Yom Kippur. Some attribute it as a zecher to what, what was done in the base of Mikdash on Yom Kippur, the Sari La Zazel, that one, an animal was sent aside uh, as symbolic to erase all the sins. So perhaps uh, the chicken or the kapara that we use as a symbol of the kapara is similar to the sari la zazel. And the Arthurim and Hagim that they actually do with, uh, with the chicken or with the kapara, that uh, if Chas Rishon, the individual needed, uh, was destined to have one of the Arba and Mrs. Bezdin, which Bezdin would punish Rahman al Islam, those who deserved, uh, so that you do some part of it to the chicken and Kavayachal it should pass over the punishment to the chicken or to the, or to the balchai that you are using as a kapara, and may the human be forgiven for what he's done. Now, originally, it actually says that the Beis Yosef was very much against the inya of kaparas. But not for what you hear now people are saying because of Tzar Balachayim. That's a separate issue, totally separate issue. The Beis Yosef and it's actually based on earlier. There is a there is a uh, there is a source in the Ramban that the Ramban was also very much against it, uh, because that the Ramban felt that this this Indian was an Indian in Dark uh, Ha'Mairi. It's a Goyish custom. So in the earliest from the earlier prints in the Shulchan Aruch, on the Beis Yosef, the headline for this simon, which talks about Minik Kaparis, was was titled Minik Shtus. The Beis Yosef was all out against it not to do kaparis. The Ramah, however, and we know that the Arizal did kaparis the way we do it. We're very, very much into fulfilling this minig. And there is actually a source that, that traces back all the ways to a Rashi in the Gemara Shabbos. A Rashi in Gemara Shabbos, that pay Aleph Ahmed Beis, says that it was a custom. Uh, in the earlier generations, that 15 or 20, 21 days before Rosh Hashanah, people would plant something in the ground and then take it out Erev Rosh Hashanah and swing it over the head and say a certain Nusikh. And so there is some similarity to what we do now, even though Rashi was mentioning for a plant as it's being done with the Utsits, with the plant, and we're not doing it with the plant. Rashi, Rashi mentions that it was done Erev Rosh Hashanah, and our meaning is to do it Erev Yom Kippur. It's interesting that when you read the comments in the Alter Rebbe's Machzer, in the Siddur, uh, what, uh, when and how a kapara should be done. So it says it's preferably to be done Erev Yom Kippur, early morning. And the Alter Rebbe, over there it's mentioned also Achar Slichis, which we know that not necessarily it's Lubavitch and Minik to even say Slichis on a Saris Mechuva. But it should be done early morning, uh, Erev Yom Kippur, because that's a time of chasadim, which, which uh, obviously that's the most preferable time, but if it's too much pressure and it's such a big crowd, Kanayin Hara, you, not everybody is able to do Kaparis Erev Yom Kippur. Uh, so, as we see in the bigger communities, Kaparis is done anywhere during a Seris Yimei Tshuva, but there is an Indian preferably to be done during the day, to Zman Chasadim, to Shecht at night, Besides for the halachic issue that the, you can't just shecht in the dark, it has to be light, so the shaykh should be able to see exactly how it's being done. There is also a benefit of the shechita being done during the day because, again, it's a virus of chasadim. And in general, not to leave too much pressure just to, to, just to shecht the chicken and let the chicken go to the garbage, you're, uh, you're misinterpreting what the whole concept is supposed to be. So... And, 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 and to allow the ch- chicken to be able to be eaten for the poor, for moistness, that has to go through a proper uh, malicha, a proper, uh, the shechita has to be proper, the malicha has to be proper, 
and that takes time and takes manpower, etc., etc. So that's the reason people do it earlier and earlier. Um, one more diuk, and that is that we find that the, 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 the psukim that you say by Kaparis begins with the words, B'nei Adam, Yoishvei Choshech V'tzal Mavis, and as we continue with the Pasuk. It's interesting just to note that some say the Pasuk Yoishvei Choshech V'tzal Mavis is a Pasuk in Tehillim. And the Pasuk begins with the word Yoishvei Choshech V'tzal Mavis. So why is it that by, uh, by the Nusach of Kaparis we add two words before it, B'nei Adam. Now, obviously, once it's already printed in the Alter Rebbe Siddur, and uh, it's already uh, brought later, uh, that this is the Nusach, it's fine. I mean, we do it because that's how it's printed. So where did it originate from? Obviously, we're going to accept it as being, uh, that the Alter Rebbe accepted it this way from earlier, or earlier sources, but there is one funny, just, to, just as an interesting information, there is one funny uh, explanation that explains why we say the words, why, was, why were the words added, B'nai Adam? Just as a piece of information. And that is that a, we know the halacha is that kaparis, we, we try as much as you could, you do one, one, one kapara for each individual, and you don't do it as groups. But halachically, you're able to do it as a group. Take one kapara for many, many people. Incidentally, um, the fact that we take a, a, a male chicken for a male and a, and a female chicken for, for a female is also discussed. The, the, the Lushan is you take a gever, and there is no title female gever. So how did it get about to split this up this way? That's a discussion for some other time. But uh, B'nai Adam, there are those that say that being that the, sh- the comment on top of the sither there was trying to tell you that if you're able to do it individually, fine. But if not, Bayes Aleph. Bayes Aleph means Bayes Oimrim. Two people together should say these psukim. The psukim that say further, Yeshua Choshech Vitzal Mavis. However, from Bayes from Aleph, the Bacher, the Zetzer that the Rebbe would always refer to him, the printer, switched it from Bayes Aleph to Bnei Adam. And it became part of the text, B'nei Adam, Yoishvei Choshech V'tzal Mavis. And that's obviously a heavy, funny explanation to say that's how it became traditionally um, a wide, wide, wide known mistake. But there is a halachic uh, uh, answer, which is, uh, comes along with a nice lesson, and that is that Yoishvei Choshech V'tzal Mavis is those who sit in the dark, is something negative. And we have a, a rule that we are always Messiah Betoiv. You always finish off with something po- positive. And there's also a Pasuk in Tehillim that says, Pesach Devar Chayoyer. The opening statement, whenever a person speaks, says something, his opening statement should also shine. Don't start off with something punishment, something like a punishment and something negative. So to start off with the words, Yeshua Chayshech with Zambavis is very negative. So they added two words, the words of Bnei Adam. And that is a very nice reason, as I think it's brought in the Arach HaShulchan. Um, the words that we say, Zech Halifasi, Zech Haparasi, are very similar to Opinion Ben, where we find that Opinion Ben, the coin deserves, has the rights through the firstborn. So you make some kind of an exchange, and the dialogue that you see that the Nusach is between the father and the coin is very similar to the dialogue, the, 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 to the Nusach that we say by the Kapardas. And the Abisha should help that we should all be... Gish- Signed and sealed for Ashana Taiva Masuka.